guys. So today you're going to meet my beautiful mother. So there's a tag on the internet called the meet my mom tag. And I know one of the questions involves beauty, so I'm pretty sure it was started by beauty gurus. So it's <laughs> gonna go real well. Question one, what was I like as a child? Hard-headed, tenacious, kind of. Had to do things your way. Um, very, very, still to this day. <laughs> I was gonna say nothing has changed. What do you think of me making videos? It's a nice way for me to kind of connect with you without having to live with you. I can kind of glimpse into what you're doing and I like it. I mean, I've always supported it. What's something funny I did when I was younger? There's a couple of times, but my favorite one was when you were sitting in the back seat of the car and I was driving and you had a runny nose because you were sick and you went, mmm, <laughs> snot never tasted so good. And you did it just like that and it made me laugh and you just snickered away because you were trying to make me laugh. It was funny. Have you learned anything about makeup slash beauty from me? Absolutely not. Yep. Because I started off being the first person who waxed your eyebrows. That's true. Um, here's a picture of me pre-eyebrows. So thanks mom for <laughs> fixing this. <laughs> What's a weird habit of mine? A weird habit? I don't have any weird habits. Do oh. <laughs> don't even say you don't. I don't. I, <laughs> so I just perfect. like narrow it down to like one specific thing that's weird other than being late to everything, even your birth. I mean, I just, I. <laughs> if you had to name, rename me, what would you rename me? I would totally screw with your grandmother like I was going to name you Caesar, Caesara. And I probably still would have done it because I still think the name I gave you was pretty cool. Anyway, after finding out it means relief in Spanish, even though your dad is Mexican and didn't bother telling me that. <laughs> so you were gonna name me after the person who burned down the library of Alexandria. Thanks, mom. <laughs> when we go out to eat, what do I order? Depends on where we're at. And it depends on what funky Yeah, little... that's a weird question. And I don't really like... kinda, cause we've been in Greece and you were like, I don't eat chicken now or like fish. And it was like, but that's their main staple. So everywhere we travel to, you always decided at that moment you were gonna have a dietary change. Just saying, thank God. What's the mom, if you hate me, you could just <laughs> say it. <laughs> what is one thing you wish you would, oh, what is one thing you wish she would do in reference to me. So what is one thing you wish I would do? Probably visit more. Oh, that was sad. <laughs> What's something that I do that annoys you? <laughs> you already know. Uh-huh, <laughs> or mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> that. What's something I obsess over? <laughs> <laughs> Where do we start? <laughs> <laughs> You can be obsessive about characters or like movies that you get like into. I guess it's like when you find something you really want, you obsess over it. <laughs> yeah. And it gets like to the point where you're like, I don't even like it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like the embodiment of the Frozen franchise. <laughs> like, where would you like to see me in 10 years? So when I'm turning 31. I like to see you successfully on your own and making your own money um, and living the life that you choose to live and not the, the life that other people choose for you. Does that make sense? Like, You want me to be my own person. Well, I've raised that in you already. I've already instilled that in you. When were you most proud of me? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, every time you make an achievement, whenever you do something that's above what you've done before is always a new level of being proud. I mean, they're, you never stop being proud of your kid. Definitely. Sounds like a little bullshit. What's the worst thing I've ever done? You know, I guess there was one time when you were younger, you told me, I'm fine, I'll get my blood pulled, I'll get my blood pulled, and I went to three different clinics with you and you would not get your blood pulled, and each time you started screaming like someone had thrown you down the stairs. What's your favorite moment of us together? That would be cheesy of me to go, every moment! But no, actually I think just uh, when you were younger, always just holding you, uh, I guess, just like being, our, I, you know, it's just like watching you. You were kind of a... Uh, Before I could talk, really. Yeah, you were kind of a dumb shit. You would do things that 
you know, I would just laugh at and my gra and, you know, grandparents would ask me if I was going to help you and I'm like, no. And I would just laugh and watch you because you would do stuff. Like you would get up on this piece of cement that was pointed, you would get up on it and then you would fall off the other side and I would just, you would cry and get mad and then you would get up again and fall off the other side. And I'm just kind of laughing because I'm, I know you're going to figure it out eventually. But I never did. You that know that, right? You just right? can't stand there. <laughs> That's just not a spot for you. And uh, your grandparents kept asking me if I was going to do anything to stop you. And I said, no, nope, she'll figure it out. But I was, I, I had my own humor. Just so our humor. favorite moments of us together is me just being a dumb ass and you just being like, there's my kid. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. How was I in school? I guess this isn't because I'm technically still in school. Let's say like elementary. You were always late to everything and like doing your homework assignments, Still last am. minute. Yeah, nothing's changed there. You kind of pretty much, you know, you s had one best friend. That would be your... Still do. <laughs> what would you change if you could raise me again? Probably not move to Southern California. Try to probably stay in the Bay Area because I think Captain Bay uh, growing up there would have been better. Um, last question uh -huh. is describe my perfect type of guy. Your dad? <laughs> Great. Well, this has been an experience. Uh, you learned a lot about me, not my mom. I just realized that. <laughs> Were um, you supposed to? I don't know. I mean, it says meet my mom tag, but really you just learned about me and my childhood via you. Wait. Yeah. Meet my mom. But it was just questions about me. <laughs> that doesn't really seem right. No affair. Are oh, you supposed well. to ask me like what my favorite childhood memories are? Wait, nah. I don't think that was fair. Maybe it was all about you. That seemed kind of narcissistic. You just made it all about you again. <laughs> all right, I'll see you guys tomorrow for another Vlogmas. Bye. Hey guys, I'm currently in Germany and I'm going to do the hashtag not my YouTube tag.